super cool party people and welcome to Monday morning. It is currently about 10 after 7. I woke up at 7. I slept in. OMG. It's cool. Um, because last night I was so awake. I was like, you know what, I'll just edit the vlog quickly. And so I edited the vlog last night and then I just slept in extra and it all worked out. I had the weirdest dream last night. So I don't think I committed a crime in this country, but I was accused. Somebody was trying to get rid of me of committing this like massive crime. And so there was like, everybody's looking for me. So I fled from that country and to the next one over. I was like hiding in bushes and stuff. And I needed to get back into the country though to like prove my innocence and prove that this other person was like, and power tripping and all that so hiding in bushes there were like planes bombing everywhere managed to get into a house hide in the house but i needed to get back and i didn't have my passport with me but i was like i had been going under an assumed name so i was like maybe they haven't connected my passport to me yet so maybe i can get back in but i didn't have my passport so we couldn't even try so there's this one part where the border wasn't really super guarded or something and so we were trying to get to that it was basically you went to the woods and then it was just like stairs like almost vertical that you had to get up <laughs> and so this girl was with me and she's like i'll help you and i was like okay and if i'm going to get caught like if it turns sour then we'll make it look like you caught me because then you get like a twenty five thousand dollar reward uh, and so she got up, I was going up, and then like the evil ruler from that country showed up up top, and so I got caught. Uh, but then I woke up, so I don't know what happened, but it was a really weird dream. Anyway, I am going to have my breakfast drink now, get ready. I don't really have anything that I need, need, need to do this morning, so I think I'm just gonna have a chill morning of getting ready, which is, I think, a cool thing so that's what I'm gonna do today like I mentioned yesterday I work there's our staff Christmas lunch yes on what day is it February 10th staff Christmas lunch and um and then hopefully I can come home and be productive but I'm feeling kind of tired so maybe I'll require another nap I don't know we'll see as the day goes on I did just wake up so that could be why I'm so like blah but yeah that's where we're at I'll check in with you in a bit. Alrighty, so I am at the theater now. It is probably just before eight. Probably should check. We're, I'm wearing a different sweater and I'm confused by the pockets. Yeah, it's just before eight still. And I am here, hopefully, this is my goal. My goal is to get everything done that I have to get done before noon so that then after the staff meeting or staff lunch, I don't have to come back here. There's a pretty good chance I will not succeed though. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do what I can, say Olivia if I don't, because I'm, you know, it's just a chill day. Mondays are chill days, right? Tuesdays are my chill days, but we're gonna say Monday's a chill day, so that's where we're at. I'm in kind of a weird mood now, though, because I shared my weird dream that I was talking about um, with my mom's boyfriend, and he, like, made it really political. Like, we have very different political standings. <laughs> And I just don't know if he doesn't understand that or if he's trying to... So yeah, I was like, I am trying to tell you about this dream, this fictional dream that I had, and you're bringing politics in it, and it's like 8 in the morning. It's not even 8 in the morning. They're like, why? Totally unnecessary. So, And then when I said something, he was like, oh no, you're wrong. And it's like, Whoa. Anyways, that's where we're at. I, like I said, I'm in a weird headspace now, so I'm going to try to... Refocus to a productive one and I will check in with you along the way as I can I don't know it's gonna be a weird day because of this lunch it throws things off alrighty so I just got home from work it is a 4 30 the work lunch Christmas lunch went for like two hours which really under not undercut which really made my day go longer than it needed to but tart we got theoretically my replacement mug, which hopefully is not broken. If you remember, I don't know, like a month ago, I ordered something and I got, I used my rewards to get a mug and it was broken when it showed up. So that is sad. 
This one looks a lot better packed than the last one because the last one was just kind of thrown in there. If this is broken, then I mean, that's impressive. Oh yeah, this is like 8 million times better packed, which in part kind of feels like a waste of bubble wrap and stuff, but also I appreciate that they put the effort into it. I probably shouldn't be talking while I'm unwrapping because it's probably really loud, but... Ah, there we go. Perk up and pretty. And it has a handle that is attached, which is significantly better than this one, which it broke off of. Anyway, that is very exciting. I also want to share my boss from the theater went to Mexico and he brought back these hummingbirds for everybody. Isn't it pretty? All of them were slightly different. I got the one with the green because I loved my green hair. I miss my green hair. But yeah, apparently these were a fundraiser after there was like a hurricane or something down there. So they made a bunch of these. They used to be by hand, now they're mass produced, but they're very pretty. Anyway, <sighs> this is where we're at currently. Um, I definitely need to do laundry today. So I think that needs to be step number one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my pants. <laughs> and my shirt probably and put them all in the laundry. Why though? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change. <laughs> Why is this so hard? I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go through my laundry hamper because I've been throwing stuff in there that is not dirty. It'll be like something that I'll wear for like an hour and I'm like, yeah, dirty. So I'll throw everything in out of there that doesn't need to be in there and everything in there that should be in there. And then I will go do laundry reluctantly. And then I need to look at my list of things to do for today. I feel like I have a fair number, which is kind of lame, but you know, it is what it is. And we'll just get started and see how things go. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> well, in terms of being productive, I don't really feel like I have been. That being said, I do have that weird thing where I only feel productive if I've done something on the computer. So like I took out all my garbage, my laundry is less than 15 minutes away from being done. Everything is clean. My recycling is out. All my cans I finally brought down. And I've just been crossing things off the list. I even blogged, which you'd think would make me feel productive because it's on the computer, but it didn't. In good news, my list is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And so once I grab my laundry, my main things that I have to do is... I should read because I didn't read yesterday. Japanese and my 5,000 words. So, oh, and shower. I definitely want to shower today because uh, I should. Anyway, that's where we're at. I've made a lot of progress, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to chill for the next couple minutes because I don't, 12 minutes and 30 seconds isn't really enough time to get into anything. So I'm going to just relax like I have been kind of for the last little bit. Shh, it's fine. And um, <laughs> then I will hopefully get back on the productive train. Just the reason I'm talking so slow is because I'm looking at my list and trying to figure out what I want to do first. It will be about 6.30. My mom gets off at 8, so it's late dinner tonight, which I don't really like, but that's what it is. Uh, so I'm thinking 6.30, I could probably read or do Japanese first and then get into my 5,000 words. Something like that. Anyways, that's, that's the train of thought. I'm gonna go now because, because why bother still talking? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else. So I will check in with you in a little bit. I am like ready to pass out. It is quarter to eight now. I did my Japanese study and I read for half an hour. The book is starting, like, because it's the final in the series, it's really starting to, like, pick up. So it's harder to put down, but it's fine because I am starving. So when food comes into play, I can stop reading. Because <laughs> I, like, we had lunch. I don't know, it feels like forever ago. Anyway, I'm exhausted, but I'm going to go start cooking dinner. Uh, we're having spaghetti tonight. And, um, yeah, that's the update. I'm trying not to sleep. So, I guess we're going to drink more water, because that's the solution. <laughs> so the one thing I really like about cooking, and I prefer to cook dinner, is that I don't have to be on cleanup, which is so nice. So, I just finished eating and then I ran away, basically. So that was great. Uh, it is 9 o'clock now, which means I have about an hour before my target bedtime. And I don't know if I'm going to make it, if we're being honest, because I really do want to shower. And I really want to get my editing done and I like in an ideal world I would fold the laundry back there I don't think I'll be so inclined to do so but it is there if I feel like it <sighs> I just 
I don't know. Like, I've done a lot today, for sure. Showering in the 5,000 words is the last thing I need to do, but I'm starting to flag. The later we're getting into the day, I'm starting to flag. So we will see what happens and how we go. <sighs> I'm ready to sleep, but not quite yet. Alrighty, we did it. We showered. We're clean. I think I put too much curl cream in my hair though because it feels a little it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I also did my you can't see from here. You can't see. <laughs> I did my editing and I did how many? Oh, I've got written down over here. 7,673 words, which is stupid. It's just all stupid. I'm almost at the halfway point. I've edited it just over 69,000 and I have close to 73,000 left to go, but that's not including the 8,000 that I cut because I wasn't really sure what to do with that. So I just made a note at the bottom of my board that said I cut it, but I didn't actually do anything with the rest of the numbers. So technically I'm over halfway through. Oh yeah, no, there's way too much product in there. Anyway, <laughs> Um, anyway, where was I? Oh dear, it's going well. I think I'm coming up to a part that I'm going to massively change or cut as well. It's, I'm sure I mentioned it before, it's kind of similar to the part that I already cut and it's just, I don't think it works. But I think it'll make the story better and it'll help it flow because it takes a bit to get into the action for sure in like it's a slow climb up that hill just because there's so much setting up and stuff for this book and then it goes woo. maybe not like that because I don't think that's how a plot's supposed to go but then it goes well whoa, whoa. <laughs> anyway it is a 20 after 10 so it is time for me to get my booty in bed so with that I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things good night